I freaking hate iMovie. Okay, so I was editing like a new video, not a Pokemon Dark Chronicles thing, which I, I'm still doing that. I'm still trying to find time for that, you know. It's difficult considering the fact that what I'm waiting for is a time where a whole bunch of things are perfect, like the weather is perfect, my sister wants to work with me perfectly because she, she's doing one of the characters' voices now, and I have enough time to do it, which, uh, getting all that together in, in one, at this part of the year, ooh, it's painful. But, uh, I wanted to make this rant because I got screwed over by iMovie so many times. Okay, let's let's go over what happened. Um, I was editing this new Sonic Plus Adventure, uh, introducing a brand new character into the show, uh, Pokemon, I think. I won't give any secrets or hints aside from that, but, uh, during the, uh, the last couple of scenes that I was editing, which the video isn't finished yet, I was just editing the first 11 minutes of it, which, 11 minutes, yeah, first 11, but, uh, okay, so I was I was editing that, and then I, I put two songs into the header, two songs that were recordings, by the way, two minute long recordings, because they're songs, and... One was an instrumental track, one was the real track, and I was like trying to compare which track I thought went better with the video. And then I noticed something. When I deleted the first track, because I was like, oh, this track sounds a lot better. Deleted that first track, put the second track in the header. The freaking thing went nuts, and like... The video was pushed forward or something? Like, the little timestamp that's supposed to be at the end was inside one of the video clips. So I... I started messing around and I tried to delete the file that was causing the problem, the recording, that I'd selected to be good, which was turning this whole situation into a virus problem. And the thing crashed. Now, thankfully, I didn't lose any of my progress, and it was set all back normal. Except for one thing. Now, when I play the video, there's like a little black cut in between each of the shots. Like, even when I do a, like a direct cut, there's this little, little section of blackness that occurs. Now, I've had this problem occur in the past with I new videos, but this was all over the video. And the flash effects, because there's flash effects in this video, they were not timed properly. Do you know how much time that adds onto the video? Do you know much? Do you know how much that screws up all the editing? So now, thanks to some random, crazy, stupid glitch, it's gone. All of it is gone. I have to restart editing from the very beginning. Re-record all that stupid stuff, all the sound effects, all the all the music, all of it. That's an hour of my life I'm not getting back. All because of iMovie and its stupid trappings. You know, this is not the first time this stupid stuff has happened before. The worst case of it was when I was editing uh, the Apollo and Sparky episode, uh, Cat in the Fat. Um, in that episode, I had finished it, all the editing was done, except for like one final shot. So I like prepped up my iPad, filmed that, and uh, started editing things. And then iMovie crashed. And it screwed up the entire thing, like, I had put too many clips into one header, with clips of audio, and now none of the recordings that I recorded would play. So again, I had to do all the editing all over again. 
for that whole video. And there's a lot of it. There was stuff in that video that was in the first draft that was not in the final draft that I released. Which I wish would have been in the final draft, but I just could not bring myself to work on it longer. Because I want to get these videos out as quick as I can, because the editing process is not very fun. It's, it's really not. It's, it's the boring part. But it's the part that makes the movie good. So you gotta weigh out your things, but... iMovie is just the worst editing software. I wish I could change to a different editing software, but iMovie is the only one I know how to use. And I just wish iMovie was designed properly. Like, on the iPad, I wish it was designed good. Like, for people who can make casual movies, that's okay. But I really wish they had more options. For those of us who want to use it as a legitimate editing software. But as it stands right now, I am just so done with iMovie. And, uh... Yeah, I'm tired and cranky and I probably should be going to bed. If you, uh, if you hate iMovie, like I do, leave a comment down below, like this video, and, uh, share it around, because I hope, I pray, that maybe someone will find this video, someone who works at Apple, and they'll fix their stupid app because it comes packed in with iPads and iPhones, and therefore it should be worth something. This is Asus 101 to 5 signing out, and have a great night.